showing the power of genetics at the Cafe Ware stage, the wonderful, talented sisters, Von Gray. We're talking with Annika and Fiona from Vaughn Gray, who turned in a fabulous performance here at Bonnaroo. Is this your first time in this location? It is not our first time attending, but our first time performing, so we're excited about that. Yeah. When, when did you come before and what did you see the last time? We came last year and we saw it, as many people as we could. We saw, uh, I mean, Radiohead was obviously amazing and the Red Hot Chili Peppers and St. Vincent and so many amazing artists. We are so excited to be here. Did you think last year when you were checking everything out you'd be performing here I don't think really we didn't come here you know trying to check out everything and be like what would happen if we play there but we're really excited to play this year you know it's an honor to play with all these awesome bands and you know we're just really excited you know so tell me about your EP or your record actually the live at criminal records which you released on record store day right which is such a nice thing to do yeah it was awesome I mean the whole vinyl community is so amazing and everybody is so passionate and we had, you know, we had fans that did that, but we had never really been a part of it ourselves. So, um, you know, we were just so excited to be able to do that and have a live record out there that kind of represents what we do when we do shows because we have a recorded studio thing that we released in October of 2012, but we wanted to get more material out there. So it was very exciting for us. When you know you're making a live record in that, in that kind of a uh, situation, do you worry about getting everything just right? Because, you know, it's hard to fix. Right. I think we started out having that in mind, and I think once we went through the set a little bit, we kind of just got into the live set, and we weren't really like in studio mode. We were more just like in live mode, because that's what the whole experience is. It's the live recording of us just playing a show, you know. So we tried to keep that in there and just play and get into it. 
And so when you when your oldest sister turns 18 and goes to college, so what what happens? Are you gonna like move in the dorm with her and rehearse or? We're working on that right now. We're figuring it out. I think that, you know, I mean, yeah, one sister just graduated and I'll be graduating next year. And so it's definitely something you have to um, keep in mind. But I think we're going to focus on the music right now and maybe take courses online like we've been doing. But really pursue the, pursue the music just because I think it's really what we want to do. And, you know, if at some point she wants to go to college, we'll be totally supportive of that decision. But right now, you know, she's she's willing to learn the business side of the music industry and kind of use that as her education right now. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> so is this uh, media tent a higher temperature than David Letterman's studio or a lower temperature? Quite a bit higher. They keep it pretty chilly in there. I don't know if it's to keep you alert or what it is, but, yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit nippy in there. Yeah, maybe, maybe he has... Uh, some uh, condition or something, I don't know. I don't know, that could be it. We'll go with that. So what's it like playing Bonnaroo, like being out here and being in this, this kind of uh, festival atmosphere? Do you like the festival atmosphere or is it, does it wear you out? Or? We love it, we love it so much. I mean, festivals are amazing. You get to see so many people in such a short time, so it's cool. I mean, it's a little hot sometimes, it's a little crowded sometimes, but you know, the energy is so, everybody's so thrilled to be here and so stoked to be seeing so many amazing people. So it's, it's great to feed off of that. Did you get a chance to catch uh, that that uh, that new and up and coming artist Paul McCartney uh, yeah. last night? Yeah, he yeah. has a bright We've never future. Heard of him before, but I think it'll be great. Yeah. He's a what they call a breakout artist, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we heard. But, but seriously, wasn't it kind of inspiring to see someone who's almost he'll be 71 years old next week? It's incredible. It's amazing. It's totally inspiring and humbling. It's, he's so incredible. At what point? What, uh, what part did your parents play in like influencing what you do in music, and 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 how is that working? They got us started in classical music when we were really young, which you know got us started in music and got us playing together. So we've been, play, we've been playing together for a while in quartets and things. So now we're just really used to it, and I think you know that was really helpful in our upbringing with music. And my my dad is a huge music lover in particular. So even when we were playing classical music at like five years old, we were listening to like Talking Heads and you know. Terrence Trent Darby and just like some amazing musicians that really inspired us even though we weren't branching out into more contemporary styles yet at that point it really you know taught us to love that so when we did want to branch out into it we had so many influences already that it was a little bit of an easier transition. Do you still play classical music sometimes or sit down the piano and play uh, Chopin or something? Yeah a little bit I mean I still take classical violin lessons actually and my eldest sister takes cello lessons and we still do recitals and all that stuff so we're, yeah we're keeping with it. <laughs> well thanks so much and I hope you're having a good roux. Yeah we are thank you, thank you so much for having us.